Exhale, bend your knees, slowly lowering your chest and forehead down, elbows straight back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Softening your breath. Staying connected. If your mind wanders away, with a smile, call it back. Time and time again. Exhale completely. Looking forward, step or hop your feet between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release down, release those shoulders. Inhale, all the way up, straight legs, leading with the chest, picking up that sunshine. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, diving forward and down. Relax your neck. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, stepping back to plank, connecting with your core. Feel your belly drawing in and up. Exhale, lower your knees down, chest and forehead down as you lift your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reach your hips back and up. Feel the space being created. The space you are making inside of yourself. Enjoy your practice. Exhale completely, looking forward. Step or walk your feet between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release down. Arms off to the side, inhaling all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. Close your eyes. Feel the effects of your sun salutation. On your breath in your body, in your mind. Observe with an open and compassionate mind, constantly bringing your focus deeper within. Release your hands and open your eyes. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Step the right foot back approximately your leg length. Heel to heel alignment. Turn your right foot to face the back of your mat and your left foot so the heel is further back than your toes. Make sure that both of your knees are in line with each of their second toes. This is vital for keeping healthy knees and hips. Keep your right knee tracking over your second toe as you turn your hips towards the right side of your mat. Inhale, lift and extend your arms out at shoulder height. Relax your shoulders. Press the four corners of your feet. Drawing your kneecaps up. Relax in your buttocks. Keep drawing your belly in and up, lengthening your spine. Growing taller, standing still. Inhale where you are. Exhale, extend over your right arm. When you can't reach anymore, lower your right arm and lift your left arm up. Lengthen through your arms. Lengthen through your spine. Keep grounding your feet. The more you push your feet down, the stronger your legs are, the lighter this posture becomes. Breathe here, slowly and evenly. Inhale. Exhale. Pushing into your feet, inhale, come slowly up. Exhale, lower your hands to your hips. Turn your feet around so your left foot is pointing to the front of your mat, your right foot in, heel further back than the toes. Ground through the four corners of your feet. Make sure your knees are tracking over the second toes. Lift your thighs up. Draw your belly in and up as you relax your buttocks. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, extend over your left leg. When you can't reach any further, lower your left arm and reach your right arm up. Create length from fingertip to fingertip. Create length from the base of your spine out through the top of your head. Breathing here, consciously, 
with awareness. Keep grounding your feet. Keep drawing your thighs up towards your hips. Strong legs, lengthening spine, soft face, smooth breath. Inhale. Exhale. Pushing into your feet slowly. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Bring your hands together in front of you. Close your eyes. Feel the effects of trikonasana, of triangle pose on you. On your heart, on your mind, in your breath. Deepening awareness. Release your hands and open your eyes. Warrior two. Again, step your right leg back, but further back this time. Turn your right foot to the back of your mat and your left foot in, heel further back on the toes. Bend into your right leg. Make sure it's tracking over your second toe and doesn't go past your ankle. If it goes past your ankle, take a wider stance. Bend deeply into that front knee. Ground the outer edge of your back foot, pushing through the back thigh. Inhale, draw your belly in and up. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, soften your face. Inhale, draw your arms up. And exhale, look over your right hand. Warrior two. Ground through your feet. Engage your core. And extend out through your arms and out to the top of your head. Keep pushing through your legs, strong legs. And lengthening spine. Soften your breath. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, lower your arms and turn your feet around. Left foot pointing to the front of your mat. Right foot in, heel further back than the toes. Inhale. Exhale, bend into your left knee. Again, don't let it go past your ankle. And make sure your knee is tracking over your toe. It's not splaying in or out. Ground the outer edge of your back right foot. Inhale, draw your spine up tall, drawing your belly in and up. Relax your buttocks. Exhale, relax your shoulders, your jaw, your tongue. Inhale, lift your arms up, lengthening fingertip to fingertip. Exhale, look over your left hand. Stay here and breathe. Be aware of the changes in your body. Be aware of the sensations in your body. Even if you start to shake, even if you don't want to do this, accept that. Know it's okay to come out. Know it's okay for it to be difficult. Grounding your feet. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, step to the front of your mat, hands together, eyes closed. Observing the effects of warrior two. Release your hands, open your eyes. Warrior one, starting from mountain pose with your feet hip distance apart, toes closer than the heels, outer edges of your feet parallel. Turn your left foot out to 10 o'clock. Step it far back behind you, keeping the distance between your heels. This gives space for your hips to rotate forward. Place your hands on your hips and bring your hips towards the front of your mat. Bend deeply into the front knee. Don't let the knee pass the ankle. Adjust your alignment. Bring the right hip back, left hip forward. Keep drawing that belly in and up, lengthen your spine, relaxing your shoulders. Keep grounding the outer edge of that back foot. Use that as your anchor. Inhale, lift your arms up. Extend from the base of your shoulder blades out through your fingertips. Lengthen your arms. Soften your shoulders. Soften your jaw. Soften your breath. Be aware of yourself. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, step to the front of your mat, lowering your arms down. With your feet hip distance apart, toes closer than the heels, turn your right foot out this time to two o'clock, again stepping it far back behind you. Place your hands on your hips and bring your hips to face the front of your mat. Bend deeply into that left knee without passing the ankle. Adjust your position if you need to. 
Ground the four corners of both feet. Push through your back thigh, grounding the outer edge of your right foot. Keep drawing your belly in and up. Lengthen your spine with soft front ribs. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Ground through your feet. Use the strength of your legs to create extension through your spine. Be aware of how the posture feels this time. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, stepping forward. Bring your hands together in prayer. Eyes closed. Observe your breath. Observe your body. Observe your mind. Release your hands. Open your eyes. Fan posture. Step your right leg far back behind you, this time bringing your feet parallel to each other, toes a bit closer than the heels. If you lift your arms up, your heels should be roughly below your wrists. Bring your hands now onto your hips. Ground the four corners of your feet. Remember your mountain pose. Feel your mountain in this posture. Kneecaps lifting up, thighs lifting up, buttocks relaxing. Drawing your belly in and up, softening the front ribs, lifting from the back ribs. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen the back of your neck with your chin parallel to the ground. Soften your jaw. Soften your eyes. Inhale here. Exhale, extend forward. Come halfway. Keep drawing your thighs up. Make sure your legs are straight, your feet are grounding. If you can, inhale here. Extending all the way down, bring your hands to the mat. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Keep lifting your thighs. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of the sensations in your body. Bring your hands back onto your hips. Inhale halfway up. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, relax. Release your arms and bring them behind your back. Clasp your hands together, keeping the heels of your hands pushing into each other. Try to straighten your arms. Relax your shoulders as you reach your arms back behind you. Inhale here. Exhale, extend forward, bending at the hips, reaching the arms up and back behind you. Keep grounding through your feet, lifting your thighs up. Feel the release in your shoulders. Bring your breath into your shoulders. Breathe there. Don't run away from any discomfort, but accept it. Breathe through that discomfort, and with time, it will go. With acceptance, it will go. Grounding your feet. Inhale, slowly coming up. Exhale, release your arms and step to the front of your mat, hands together in prayer, eyes closed. Observe how you feel, with a compassionate heart, with an open mind. Release your hands, open your eyes. Utkatasana, fierce pose. With your feet hip distance apart, toes closer than the heels. Find your mountain. Grounding through your feet, drawing your belly in and up, opening up your chest, opening up your heart. Lengthening through the back of your neck. Inhale your arms up. Sensing into your heels, exhale, sit back into your knees. Bend back, make sure your knees don't go past your toes. If you look down, you should be able to see your toes past your knees. Reach from your hips out through to your fingertips. Keep softening the front ribs as you lift from your back ribs. Make sure the knees don't splay in, but stay in line with your second toe. One more breath here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Pushing into your feet. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lower your arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bending back again. Sit further back. Sit deeper. Keep relaxing the bottom, drawing your pelvis in towards your belly button. Create length in your lower back. 
Feel your belly supporting your spine, coming in towards your spine. Feel the length from the base of your spine up through the back of your neck and out to the top of your head. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lowering your arms. One last time. Inhale, the arms up with a smile. Enjoy the difficulty. Exhale, bend deeply into the knees. Reach from the base of your buttocks out through the fingertips. If it's hard, smile. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the difficulty. If everything was easy, life would be boring. Accept where you are today, how you feel today. Inhale. Exhale. Pushing into your feet. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, lower your arms. Close your eyes. Observe how fast your heart is beating. Observe your mind, your breath. Release your hands and open your eyes. Tree posture, a balance posture. Come to your mountain. Ground yourself evenly on both feet. Then slowly shift the weight onto your right leg, grounding through the right leg, lifting the thigh up, drawing the belly in and up. Inhale, pick up your left leg and either place it on your ankle, shin, or inside your thigh. When you're ready, bring your hands together in front of your chest and inhale your arms up. Soften your gaze. If you fall out of this posture, that's okay. Come back into it slowly. If you sway, that's okay. Trees sway in the wind. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lowering your arms and leg. Starting from your mountain, grounding through both legs. Slowly shifting your weight onto your left leg. Inhale, draw your right leg up, either onto your ankle, shin, or inside your thigh. Stay away from your knees, below or above your knees. Bring your hands together. Inhale, lift your arms up. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep the hips facing forward. And keep your standing legs strong, thigh lifting up. You can feel that you're growing roots through your foot and your arms are like branches reaching up to the sky. Find your place between heaven and earth. Inhale. Exhale, lowering down arms and leg. Close your eyes. Observe the different effect balance postures bring to the body and mind. Be aware of the subtle differences. Release your hands and open your eyes. Warrior three or balance scales. Come to the middle of your mat. Step your right leg forward. Bring your weight onto the right leg so you're on the toes of your left leg. Inhale your arms up. Draw a connection from the heel of your right leg all the way through your core, out through your fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale, just lift off your back foot slightly. Find your balance. As you ground from your left foot all the way out through your fingertips, slowly start to tilt forward. But don't let your arms come down. Don't dump into your shoulders. And don't let your left hip rise up. Bring the left hip down, right hip up. Reach fingertips to back foot. Keep your standing leg strong, thigh lifting up. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, stepping back to your left foot. Step your left leg forward. Bring your weight onto your left foot so you're on the toes of your right leg. Inhale your arms up as you relax your shoulders. Lift your back foot up. Find your balance. Let your left leg be strong, thigh drawing up. Extend forward, lengthening from fingertips to toes. 
Think of the balance scales, everything in a line. It's not important how far forward you go, but how straight your line is. Work slowly. Ahimsa, compassion for yourself, acceptance for where you are today. Another breath. Inhale, slowly up. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Hands together in prayer. Accept yourself. Enjoy yourself. Release your hands. Open your eyes. We will now do one sun salutation to take us down to the mat. For this last sun salutation, celebrate yourself. Don't think. Move with your breath. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, extend forward and down with a flat back. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, stepping back to plank, lowering your knees down. Slowly lower your chest and forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and come into child. Rest in your forehead on the mat in front of you, arms back behind you. If this isn't comfortable, you can make fists and place your forehead on your fists. Soften here. Bring your breath into your back. Feel your back ribs up with air, with life, with energy. Quieting your thoughts. Feel your spine release into your legs. Inhale, place your hands below your shoulders. Exhale, pushing into your hands. Inhale, coming up. Bring your hips to one side and your legs in front of you. Seated sequence. Starting with Dandasana. If you are tight in the hips, lower back, or back of the thighs, I recommend you sit on a folded blanket or block. Sit on your mat with your legs together straight out in front of you. Feel your sit bones ground beneath you. Press out through your feet as if you're standing on them, like in mountain pose. Don't let your baby toes roll in. Press actively through your big toes. Your kneecaps and thighs pull up towards your hips. Push your thighs into your mat. Ground yourself through your legs and sitting bones. Your pelvis should tilt neither forward nor backwards. Place your arms to your sides. Depending on the ratio of your arms to your spine, you'll either be pushing into your palms or your fingertips. Your arms are there to help lengthen through your spine. Draw your belly in and up. Soften the front ribs, lift from the back ribs. Long back of the neck. Soft throat, chin parallel to the ground, and with soft eyes looking straight ahead. I find this posture deceivingly difficult. It looks so simple, yet takes so much effort. Sit comfortably in the difficulty. Accept yourself in this posture. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of the sensations in your body. Be aware of yourself. Moving on to Pashamotanasana, or extended forward sitting posture. Inhale your arms up, lengthening from your sitting bones all the way up through your fingertips. Feel that your arms start in your hips. Keep your spine long and in line with your arms. Exhale, extend forward, arms staying up by your ears. Look forward. Reach forward. Lengthen hips through your spine. Inhale here. Exhale, reach your arms down either to your knees, shins, or feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lengthen forward. And hold. Breathe here.
Inhale, reach your arms forward, look forward. Exhale, and inhale all the way up. Exhale, your arms down, back beside you. Take a moment to observe how you feel after the forward bend. Purvatanasana, sitting back bend. Bring your hands back behind you, fingers pointing towards your buttocks. Push through your palms, straighten your arms. Dome your chest. Really lift through your chest, feeling your heart open and spread. Inhale. Exhale, let your head float back, opening up your throat. Ground through your hands. Lengthen through your spine. And enjoy the space this back bend brings to the front of your body. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin in. For the second one, you can either repeat this or lift your hips up. Pushing through your arms, doming your chest. Inhale, lift your hips up this time. Push through your toes, thighs lifting up, heels lifting up. And if you feel comfortable, exhale, let your head fall back, opening up your throat. Keep the arms straight, chest lifted. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck your chin in first and then slowly lower yourself down. Come back to a sitting position. Observe how you feel after your back bend. Marichyasana, sage posture or sitting twist. Bend your right leg a hand's distance away from your left leg. Bring your right arm behind you, this time your fingers pointing back behind you. Inhale your left arm up as you push through the heel of your left leg. Keep your left leg strong. Inhale here as you push through your right hand. Exhale, hug your right knee. Inhale. Exhale from your belly button, twist towards the right. Shoulders and head are the last to come around. 